Because the gold, gold is a very, very interesting. Okay. Uh, I think most people, I thought some people probably get, <laughs> uh, nee? okay, we will review gold uh, quite, quite a, in detail lah untuk malam ni. Okay. Okay. I think last week uh, we talked about uh, this level, 1913. Uh, okay. Me on the daily. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Last week we were here, last week, 18. Uh, okay. Uh, this candle, maybe four. I, I look at the four hourly. Okay, I think nineteen thirteen was the 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 range that we we talked about it will will reach. Okay, so about kita kata this nineteen hundred to nineteen thirteen, there will be a zone before they uh, come down. Okay, I think at nineteen thirteen they 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 are about nineteen twelve they came down, but eighteen ninety become a support. So this is where people were thought this probably start of the reversal. Okay. Tetapi dekat sini lah yang apa, Russia started to move into Ukraine. Okay. So since then, you can see, you guys can see that from 1890, they shot up all the way to about 1975. Okay. So pergerakan ni ramai yang terkena dekat almost dekat 19 uh, pagi tu rasanya. Ataupun petang tu, dia naik ke sampai ke 1920 people thought uh, dia mungkin ada turun tapi dah turun dan pergi atas 1950. Is uh, the zone that people thought uh, akan ada rejection because most of the people thought 1950 uh, will be the resistant before they drop. Tapi they shoot up another $25, okay, to reach uh, 1925. Before, uh, after a couple of hours, they drop from 1975 all the way back to uh, 1870. So in a way, within how many hours? Uh, let me see, within how many hours? Almost dalam six bar dalam sehari, okay? <laughs> Less than sehari, sehari dia dah naik turun balik dekat tempat yang almost tempat yang sama, okay? Uh, so they they take out this support also dekat 1890 and dropped it. Okay, this is where the some good news also came up and also just now I mentioned uh, regarding the about the, the Russian uh, something that probably some uh, <clears throat> companies, okay? Atau individuals probably dumping the uh, gold from this top level, okay? And because Russia also considered uh, among the uh, big holder of gold uh, reserve, okay? But again, uh, this is where most people get caught. Uh, was asking why uh, on a flight to safety ataupun uh, masa perang, okay? How come gold still can junam, uh, okay? But again. Uh, from from uh, sebab tu kadang-kadang kita tak boleh ambil just uh, just uh, from one side okay this is where probably we need to see the bigger picture okay what is happening okay this is uh, driven by some good news as well as uh, expected ataupun assume somebody was uh, ataupun some people ataupun a group of people ataupun group of companies is dumping the gold okay to quickly move out from this uh, ni okay so currently it looks like uh, 1875 to about 1890 acting as a support. Okay. Okay. This is where things uh, probably will get uh, interesting. At that one will get a bit um, uh, challenging. Okay. If Russia continue, persist to invade Ukraine, uh, Kiev, uh, I think KYIF. Malam ni ataupun dalam besok, kalau katakan dia masuk and then take out the parliament, okay, ataupun the, the, the key government officers and if anything happens to siapa tu presiden dia, uh, Zelensky, okay, suddenly lah contoh kena bunuh ataupun kena bomb or something like that, then probably we are expecting gold uh, untuk untuk naik. But still, this move, although uh, kata kalau of course, we, we don't as, uh, expect uh, worst thing to happen, but let's say it's happened, okay? Then gold mencana naik. It can even reach 2,000, macam tadi ada soalan uh, uh, ditanya, okay? Sama ada boleh reach? Yes, it's possible. So gold, uh, 2,000 is somewhere previously dekat sini, okay? That was uh, happened around probably about August 2020, okay? Around this time. 
So if anything worse things happen, then we are talking about 2,000 atau, ataupun even boleh sampai ke 2,100. Okay. So this is the impact uh, bergantung pada apa tindakan uh, Russia sekarang ni sebab sama or other sekarang ni Ukraine is also fighting. Okay. Uh, daripada video-video yang kita nampak tadi, uh, their citizen ataupun rakyat dia orang pun diberi apa uh, guns ataupun uh, missiles. Okay. Uh, untuk fight maknanya rakyat biasa dia uh, campur dengan dia punya military okay they all fighting uh, against uh, russian uh, troops okay so bila ra- civilians masuk okay uh, things uh, we will not uh, look uh, nice kalau military dengan military this is a still kind of a, orang kata uh, boleh boleh terima lagi tapi kalau civilians fighting against the military uh, then uh, to, to protect their country ataupun to save their country then this is in another level uh, of uh, orang kata perang lah. Okay. So that's why uh, things doesn't look good. Now uh, goal if you ask me. Okay. is uh, There's no more talk about FOMC, uh, Federal Reserve, uh, hiking rate. All those right now uh, kita tolak tepi. Okay, although this was uh, in the in the picture two weeks ago, okay, at about a week ago, but now with the Russia, you can see all these people not talking about, okay, uh, at this point. So it's all about Russia, Ukraine. There might be a bit of a orang kata, retracement ke bawah atau correction ke bawah, okay. Kalau katakan tiba-tiba Putin stop fighting, and then uh, siapa tu with the Zelensky from uh, Ukraine, okay. They sit down and then uh, they say they want to, of course, they cannot sit down at Ukraine to talk. Probably they find a neutral country. <clears throat> Some of the countries uh, talked about is like uh, Norway, ataupun, uh, maybe probably, uh, tu? maybe even Japan, <laughs> ataupun, uh, I don't know, any other country lah, yang neutral, okay, uh, that, that can actually uh, uh, get both these uh, leaders to sit down. Okay, if that happens, then we probably see gold coming down to 1860 ataupun 1850. But we we're not expecting gold to drop uh, too much at this point. Okay, until uh, all this settle down ataupun uh, until the FOMC. Tapi this thing probably will take another at least one to two weeks uh, to 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 get get it resolved. Uh, so until then, it's a buy on dip uh, kind of thing ataupun just buy 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 atas. Because uh, apa yang berlaku pagi tadi, if still continues, then uh, we are expecting gold untuk terus ke atas. Uh, it can even start out gap up dekat atas ni Monday, bergantung pada apa yang berlaku besok, okay? And then try to shoot to 2000 first. Okay? And then if suddenly, let's say, uh, the worst thing happen, okay? It can go even to about 2001. Okay? Because if... Uh, kalau sampai ke katakan contohnya lah presiden kena bunuh ataupun the whole uh, government is captured etc then uh, i think uh, eu especially europe okay will probably get involved kalau europe get involved then most likely nato sama or rather they will get involved kalau nato get involved then this will invite us okay so that's why uh, they, they, they still try to not go to up to this level yet sebab kalau US masuk then uh, things become a bit worse okay ataupun NATO masuk which is part of the US led okay uh, this will tapi kalau setakat antara apa France uh, Germany uh, those countries still uh, talking to Putin then still okay but the moment it goes to NATO uh, it won't look uh, good because this is the part Putin uh, Among among the reason why Putin uh, wanted to invade or wanted to uh, get or teach a lesson for Ukraine, because NATO, okay, is, is getting into rather Russia punya territory to certain extent or put the border Russia, so that's why he doesn't like it, okay, so that's why you kind of want to show who he is or the power he has to European uh, countries, so that's why uh, <coughs> things doesn't look good uh, at this point. Okay, so uh, this is the one people try to avoid. 
to get NATO involved because NATO <laughs> involved then basically means perang. Okay, what's what's happening right now is NATO only supplying uh, orang kata missiles ataupun uh, apa uh, guns ataupun uh, tankers ataupun uh, anti apa orang kata uh, missiles all those things to Ukraine to let Ukraine fight. So Ukraine bukan member NATO. Okay, so that's why they let Ukraine to fight on their own uh, at this point. But they they have no reason to get involved. So they bukan member dia. So that's why most people don't uh, really like it why uh, Europe ataupun uh, US not getting involved. Okay, but they also cannot get involved because they is not part of the member. Macam contohnya lah. Okay, kita, kita, kita ASEAN, uh, kita Malaysia, uh, apa, ASEAN country. Tiba-tiba kita nak pergi dekat contoh apa masuk campur hal India ataupun uh, Pakistan Bangladesh so it is a different uh, group of nation okay uh, so that's why uh, sekarang ni uh, they also cannot you know, because the moment katakan contoh uh, UK ataupun uh, France masuk uh, dekat UK, uh, apa Ukraine untuk 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 untuk, untuk fight then it's a different story tapi kalau Putin masuk dekat contoh Poland uh, ataupun uh, Romania then it's a different story. Then NATO will immediately will come and uh, protect. So uh, all these are members. So the the reason <laughs> uh, Putin also don't like Ukraine, so, but Ukraine asked for membership in NATO. Uh, so that's why they cheat a lot more than Soviet Union. Okay, so, the, so, say, so to keep it simple, okay, I think gold still up. Okay, things doesn't look good. Okay, there might be some good news. Okay. Uh, we hope, okay, if it happens, then probably drop, but uh, we are not expecting a uh, bearish move, okay? As long as maintain above this uh, 1870, 1850 level, is uh, still bullish. Until this uh, Russia-Ukraine issue resolved, then we can talk about this uh, FOMC Federal Reserve uh, in March, okay? So until then, uh, just buy on dip for gold. Okay, Bun? Okay, baik. Terima kasih Cikgu Rashid. So, okay Cikgu Rashid, uh, uh, bagaimana pula dengan oil uh, tadi uh, sejauh mana dia boleh pergi? Eh? Sebab okay, the ada few levels uh, I'm... Oh, okay. Okay, the immediate one I'm looking at it right now without uh, too too much damage to Ukraine ataupun too much damage to ini. At least we are looking about 110 uh, punya range. Sekarang ni, dia dah bridge uh, ataupun touch about 100. Okay. And uh, there's a drop to about 97 atau 96. Okay. We are probably talking about, about 110 first. Okay. Around that region. Tapi with what's happening right now in the last two, uh, in the last couple of hours atau what people thinking might happen in the next uh, 48 to 72 hours. I think uh, oil probably will bridge 115 to 120. Okay. If let's say, for example, let's say uh, Russia uh, take over the Kiev, uh, the capital, and then uh, all the president plus all the cabinet being uh, captured as a hostage. Okay. And then uh, there's no discussion, nothing, etc. Then uh, oil, oil, oil. Will, okay. And the other thing also, uh, Smalam Sapatu. Uh, uh, Biden, okay, he also personally, uh, okay, he sanctioned uh, Putin uh, at, at the personal level as well. Maknanya dia punya harta apa semua tu, okay. And then uh, we are thinking there will be more sanction uh, coming up, okay, uh, with, with the stricter because uh, uh, initially macam uh, semua ingatkan cuma dua teritori dekat Eastern Ukraine, which is uh, anyway is a pro-Russia. Uh, kind of answer, okay, but now it looks like it's a whole Ukraine, okay. So, but this Western Ukraine is uh, atop the whole capital, atop the government, uh, IMSA is more Western, uh, liberal, okay. So, things doesn't look good, uh, at this point. Things, okay, uh, can bye. get out of uh, out of control, okay. Baik, terima kasih, Cikgu Rashid. Uh, 